Hey everybody, this is Adam, and the video you're about to watch is a part of a series. Now you can watch that entire series for free over at cadjunkie.com with our free seven-day subscription. It is a no-brainer. I definitely recommend you check that out. All right, enjoy. Now, believe it or not, most of our work here is done. The rest of this is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to walk through it step by step. I'm just going to show you the concepts, and then I want you to use this as an opportunity to practice getting around SOLIDWORKS. So let's head back. I'm going to click my window menu and go to my finished scissor demo assembly. And by the way, I'm going to upload this assembly so you can open it, see how it works, look over here on the left and use it however you need to as a visual reference while you're putting together your own copy of this. But essentially, we're just going to create a bunch of duplicates of these parts and then combine them together into a working mechanical assembly. That's actually really straightforward to do. So let's go back to our model. And to put this together, first of all, we need to make sure that something is fixed in place and can't be moved. That's really important. So this connector is going to serve that purpose. Let's right click our connector and say fix. That's going to put a little F to the left of its name. And if I drag it, it's going to say this selected component is fixed. It can no be moved. That means we can't move it, which is really good. Otherwise, everything's just floating out in zero gravity space, and it gets really hard to control things. It's good to have something that's locked down. OK, so let's take this and move it around. We can show that it floats perfectly. So to put these together, let's hit the S key on the keyboard again. We'll head over to this paperclip icon called Mate, and you'll see that it says that it positions two components relative to one another. Pretty straightforward. It's exactly what we want to do. And then we're going to mate these things. And notice over on the left, as always, we have our mate tool properties to pay attention to. I'm going to click in the mate selections area, click on the inside face of my plank, and on the outside face of this uh, shaft here. And that's going to mate those together. And it's, SOLIDWORKS has inferred that those are both circles, and therefore we probably want them to be concentric. But if we wanted them to be tangent or something, that would be fine too. We could click that. But let's just click OK. And it automatically fires off the mate tool again. And this is really nice because usually you want to do multiple mates at the same time. So we've done one. Now let's click on this face to select that one. Rotate around. Click this face. And it's going to put those together. And once again, when you choose two planar faces, it's going to assume that you want to make those coincident, which is a fancy word for touching, right? Click OK. And our tool is still running, but we're done mating. So let's click the green check mark to exit that tool. And I'm just going to go to my isometric view to zoom out. Now I can click and drag this, and you'll see that it rotates exactly the way that it should. Really, really nice. Perfect. Now, to add more pieces to this, all we have to do is duplicate these original parts. So, let's uh, contract this over in our Feature Manager design tree. Select the connector. Control-C to copy. I'm going to move my mouse out here in the viewport somewhere. And Control-V to paste. And notice that it pastes it right where my mouse was, which is kind of nice. Now, to mate this, we're going to do the same exact thing again. Let's go to my paperclip icon. Click this face, click this face, and then click OK. And then this face will go to this face, and hit OK. And we can exit our mate tool, and now these things are all mated together. Once again, we'll go back to our isometric view, and we can move these exactly the way you would think. Now, all we have to do is keep copying and placing, pasting components until we end up with what we want. So I'll take my plank, copy that, Control-C, Move my mouse out here, Control-V to paste it out in space. We'll also take another one of these uh, connectors, copy that, paste it, and then we'll mate all three of these together. One more time, and then I'll let you uh, go play. Let's mate this to that, and OK. And then we'll do this face to that face, and OK. And again, we'll do this to that, and OK. And then this face to that face, and OK. And OK to exit the tool. Now if we drag this, these guys will move like scissorlings. And we can keep adding more of that stuff until we end up with 
our final scissor demo. I'm not gonna show you the rest of this because I want you to struggle through it. I want you to fight your way through this and make sure that you understand a few different things. One, how to model a part, how to navigate within our 3D viewport, and how to add mates between parts in our assembly. All right, go play, and when you come back, uh, we're gonna do some really fun stuff.